Hi, sweet friends. It's Petra here with my newest layout for Bramble Fox. Um, this time I'm starting off with a fox cut stencil with the hexagons and I'm going to draw several hexagons on a piece of cardstock in different sizes. When I've done that, then I will take another stencil because I love those Bramble Fox stencils. Um, and I'm going to use different kinds of pink fresh inks um, to give little accents to those different hexagons. And I'm using a fresh yellow, a green and a pink. And I'm simply um, getting the colors uh, on a piece of hexagon. So not the entire hexagon, but just at the borders of the hexagons. So I've done all the hexagons and I've cut them out and now I will um, simply layer them uh, to get to get a base for my layout and to see how I will um, put them on the page. And sometimes I change that several times. <laughs> um, and I love creating my own, well, embellishments or, or how do you call it, uh, elements to, to create the page. And with these uh, stencils, you can so easily create your own embellishments and your own, um, well, papers to use for your layouts. So when I'm s s pleased with the setup, then I'll start distressing the edges of all those tiny hexagons. And as you know, I simply use a pair of scissors and not a distress tool. Um, I've backed my photo, which I also um, made into an hexagon with some uh, papers from the same collection, uh, Pink Fresh uh, Happy Heart. And then I decide to create some mixed media with the same inks as I used on the hexagons, only the green and the yellow. And well, not really mixed media. I simply blend the inks on my paper um, to create a bit of soft tones behind those hexagons. And later on, I'll do some splattering because I love those splashes of paint on my paper. So then I'll start assembling everything on the page again. And I did some stitching also on the hexagon photo. Um, and when I'm happy with the uh, setup of the hexagons, then I'll simply glue everything down with some double sided tape. So I glued it all down and um, I've put some foam behind the photo and now I'm starting to cluster the other embellishments and I love those flowers uh, of the Happy Heart collection. They are so beautiful and soft and they match those uh, yellows and greens in the rest of the layout. So I always cluster first before I simply glue everything down immediately. I always want to position everything and make sure it's how I like it. And some flowers I glue down immediately and some I adhere with some double sided foam tape to create some dimension and you're always able to tuck things underneath if you use a bit of elevation in your embellishments. And that's me. I have this really convenient bottle with a, a lid that you can <laughs> place your bottle on. And then I simply just put it away and all the glue gets down to the <laughs> bottom of the bottle again. So I'm often shifting <laughs> from different bottles of glue. So here I have an older perspective, um, the filter title. and 
uh, I still love every title, so it doesn't matter to me how old or new they are. Uh, and since I uh, put a filter on this photo to create this kind of paint look, I thought that this title was perfect for this photo. And um, I don't glue the title down immediately, uh, but when I glue the perspectives down, I always use glossy accents in case you're wondering where you can glue it down with. And I'm sure uh, some people use other adhesives, but I think glossy accents is a perfect uh, uh, glue for uh, those per perspectives. And these are the tiny tags, and I love those tiny tags. They are so cute. So I use a piece of embroidery floss uh, to create little bows for those two tags I'm using. And one has a little heart, and the other one has a small camera on it. And please don't forget to remove the uh, the film that's on uh, on it, the protective film, because then. Uh, uh, it gets its shine, you know, that that film is just to protect it from scratching. So, and it's on both sides. So please do not forget to <laughs> remove the back of the uh, uh, film because when you glue it on the tape that's still on it, on the film that's still on it, then uh, it might dissolve the protective film and then your perspective will still fall off your layout. So always remove both both sides. <laughs> So when I positioned all the uh, the title and the tiny text, then I decided to first do some splattering because I don't want those green splatters all over my white perspectives. Uh, so I just simply put some ink on my uh, glass mat and then I'll just water it down and use a small brush to make those splatters. And it's time to glue every gorgeousness down. So as I said, some glossy accents and I always uh, smear it uh, with my finger so I won't get any glue sipping out <laughs> underneath the, uh, the perspective. So I always have gluey fingers, but hey, that's a crafter's life, you know. And then I decide I also wanted to incorporate some of those super cute spring meadow flowers. And at first I wanted to use the green ones, but I thought they were a bit too bright for this layout. So I decided to go with the pink ones. And they're so cute. So they give this beautiful extra di dimension. And um, I love using small bits and pieces that you can tuck underneath other embellishments to create more dimension and interest in your page. So it's almost done. I almost forgot to put the fun uh, above my title. So I glue it down and then I thought, oh, I had to put that fun again down too. <laughs> so that was a great action of me. Um, so I had to wriggle it between that filter perspective but it turned out okay so be at ease with your oops I always say so that's it um, I'm finishing off with some uh, animal dots or enamel dots I never know how to pronounce that and uh, then the layout is done so I hope you got inspired to use your uh, stencils in different ways because I love to use them in different ways and um, 
as you see, you can use it as your own piece of paper, design paper. Uh, I hope you like it and thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you uh, in the next video and I hope to see you on the Bramble Fox Friends page on Facebook. So uh, see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Thank you.